Hey, what's up guys? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Well, surprise, surprise, there was insane movement in the draft lottery once again. It is honestly a lower percentage to get the first overall pick if you have the number one odds for it in this game. Apparently eight seems to be a hot spot, unless we're there. Columbus moves up from three to one, Washington from eight to two. And of course, we are nowhere to be seen because we're now a playoff team and we're going to stay that way. And our picks are becoming tradable assets. Certain young players are becoming tradable assets. And I know you guys are de definitely wanting to see me make some trades, but I mentioned it in the comments as a response. I needed to see some playoff action for me to decide, all right, which players currently on my main roster are expendable? Because those are the ones that I don't know who is expendable yet. The other ones who haven't made it or that we're quote unquote waiting on, those are technically expendable now because we are now in win in that win now mode so anyway a little bit of a disclaimer there if you can call it that let's check out some player retirements gross um evgeny malkin duchene let me check some overalls here yeah i mean malkin's 42 he technically could have played another year probably with his offensive stats too Yo, oh, yeah easily could have played another year dutchy ben roar Oh, yeah, most of these guys were done, done. Indeed. Kadri, William Carlson, stayed in Vegas. That's nice. Saad, Klingberry, uh, Kuznetsov, Niederreiter, Gallagher. Damn. Yep, got some names going here. Oh, Jan Kruk was in fucking Vancouver. Okay. All right. Best defenseman of all time, Justin Hull. Okay. Goaltenders. Leafs legend, Freddie Anderson. Best goalie they've ever had. Uh, Varlamov, Markstrom, Leonard. <laughs> okay. Those are the people biting the dust here. Do we have any coaching retirements? We might, because I did have some older guys. Yeah, someone, one guy in St. Louis, probably the goalie coach. I just always assume it's going to be the goalie coach. Those guys always retire. Let's check out the pre-draft interviews. We'll see if that this last scouting round got me any more info. Indeed, indeed. That guy I had pinned and wasn't confirmed is indeed a elite. It's totally lying about that X factor, but I'm gonna take it and I'm I'm still gonna I'm gonna take him regardless, but I'm gonna hope he actually has that. This guy could actually have a light uh, an X factor, judging by where he's at. Bryce Howden. Considering he's five-year ETA this early, he better have a goddamn X-Factor. <laughs> All right, did we pick up any more low elites? Not really. But an interesting spread of where they are. No strengths, no weaknesses. That's a... Ooh! NHL ready is a winger playmaker, which isn't super interesting, considering we have one of those, I think, a medium elite one coming up, but... uh. Again, we want all the ETAs in the world. All the good ETAs, that is. And plus, again, no space. That's a trade ass asset. Interesting. How about in the way of top sixes? Any sort of steals? Yeah, we got one back here at the 133 center playmaker. He's little. That's why he's all the way back there. A gem of a left defenseman right defenseman here no real crazy etas all right um i don't not gonna bother doing interviews because <laughs> we have so many good prospects i'm i don't really care uh so minnesota actually went on to win the cup so we lost to the cup we took the cup finalists to game seven i actually kind of want to see if we anyone else took them to game seven yeah vancouver did they smashed the avalanche though and then they beat the Leafs. Hell, the Leafs made it and lost in six. Wow. Wow. What a tough road for Toronto. They were, they were too worn out. They went up against a tough team and folded. Stop me if you've heard it before. Okay. The entry draft. Um, yeah. Let's just get into it. I don't have anything else to do. And unfortunately, I can't really use the 
player search in here, which really sucks. God damn, that lag scares me every time. You can do fine tray, but that, that thing's garbage. Can't use player finder. Anyway, we, our pick is 25. All the way back to 25. There's no like crazy medium elite steel that I know about. Around the 25, there's a center sniper. Who our scout says should go much earlier? Why though? Very curious. There's a right D here, but it's far. Yeah, you actually, yeah. Um, we hope to get this guy. Yeah. Probably want to snag Howden in some way, shape, or form, just because. I don't know if I have a pick around that. I can even trade back if I want to. I know I picked up another second. Okay, we did. We, uh, we might. He's at 40. We have the 38. It's risky. Yeah, the Vegas pick turned out okay. Oh, I have too many seconds. Yeah. I do have the correct amount of picks, but I got too many in the first two rounds, so we can't draft all these, and I'll actually remember that this time around. I gotta move them in some way. Unfortunately, there's nothing that we want to move up for, really, unless it's that second. There is some good stuff in the second. I don't think there's anyone with like brilliant ETA like in range for us to move up for. I'll I'll take a good gander here. But I doubt it. At least not like within the range of like us being able to realistically grab a dude. To yeah, no. It's not really that great. Where the hell is the ETA jump going to be? Is there none? There has to be. No, no, no. Must be one of the guys that I don't really know about. Yeah, maybe I should have interviewed. <laughs> no way. Really? No ETA jump? Okay. I'm actually kind of shocked at that. There's usually like a little slight ETA jump. Like one or two guys who jump back up to like mid-70s. Before it goes back down to the mid and high 60s. So that's kind of curious. Yeah, we could. I don't want to necessarily wait to get him with the 38. I can grab someone else with the 38. Such as Tyrell. Mr. NHL ready. Doesn't even look like that good of a top five. If that's the number one. The hell do I do with my first? Or, yeah. Let's. You know what? I'll use this. Just because I don't know what I want. Maybe the game does. I rarely do. Pelic, just 10 defensemen. 10 defensemen. We, you know, we were looking for a defenseman, but none of these guys are going to fit the bill of what we're actually looking for. He, he's an 85, but he's also 35. He's not bad. But he's not quite what I'm looking for. Not for that term. The price is good, but age plus term, no. It is, oh, it doesn't actually go back to the... the ex <laughs> God damn. Pelic is expiring. Like, yeah, this is... Makes no sense. Alright. Yeah. What did I say? Waste of time. I'm just curious if I should just get rid of this first in some way. I don't know to for what to who. Nothing is worth trading up for. I could bank it. I don't want to go too off the board for that goaltender. I think I'm just going to bank it here. In some way. Let's let's see if we can So we're going to acquire I'm going to get rid of the 57 in this deal. I want to see who's going to be an actual... 
or who might be a shit team. That's going to be tough to kind of judge. Definitely not Canes. I've, I don't know if I ever see Colorado fall off, and why would they? St. Louis, or er, Dallas. Still got a hard carry there. Oilers can be very weird. But not now. Don't know if we're going to really find anything that fits the bill here. Yeah. Oh, I got Caulfield and... Yeah, I was hoping to maybe find a pick that would like gain in value just for us to use, basically, in trade of some sort. Islanders, though, maybe. Barzal Dobson. Mm, they do have some other good stuff. They got a lot of aging guys, though. Guys who are on the block. Could take a gamble. Oh, that pick's worth way... Oh, uh, because, yeah. P pick's worth way too much because they're listed as a seller, even though they should kind of do okay. We're going to get kicked out of here. So I'll just... No, you know, I won't exit. I'll wait till I get kicked out. It'll actually hilariously be quicker. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to kind of have to be the Islanders, but I can't get what I want out of them. Bruins, what's your... S oh, they have nothing. That's right. You have the 44. Doesn't quite... Yeah, it's going to have... I'll just have to look for the team that I want to pick from. I'm not going to be able to, like, get too luck. Jesus. Anaheim, Calgary, Columbus, one of these guys. 34, that's safe. I could even do the 35 for that goalie. So let's deal with Columbus, who is a seller. But that means they want our picks. They want the 25, they want the 57. We're going to take their 35. I want next year's second and third. I don't, I'm not going to get it. How does this make sense? I'm giving them a 25 and a and the 57 for... <laughs> this is not going to work in a single trade. All right, I'm just going to trade it back. So I can gain something else. Can't be for this season, obviously. Ugh. Moving back 10 spots, can't get a 3. Take a 4. There's just no one I want at 25. But I do want that 35. So we're going to still have to... Brother! God, they don't want to give it up. This is the worst. This is the literal worst. This is becoming, like, not worth it. <laughs> it's just... Like, it. it is just because I'll, I'll gain assets. But it's like, you, you're, you're getting ripped off. I'm just... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, the trade logic in this game. If it's not on the block, it's... I'm just going to hold that pick and draft the goaltender with it. Why bother with anything else? Seriously. Why freaking bother? There's literally no point. Alright, we're going to shed this pick and just draft who we want with all these, essentially. I think the 50 would make more sense to shed, actually. Let me just take a quick look. You can get slightly more for it. No, it wouldn't actually. Forgot about that guy. You usually don't see the low elites right there. You know what? Let me just send this pick so I don't get kicked out of the goddamn trade. Because that will happen. Now let's just let's just get something back for that 57. Boston might be a re really good team to trade with. Oh, goodness. Damn. I would love their second from next year, though. 
How many picks do I have next year? Just my own, yeah, my usual ones. Hey, take this really good growing top nine guy. Kidding me? That's right, we couldn't get a seven for him. And I have nothing else. Good God. <laughs> I'm just, I have to get rid of a pick. You know, one of the first two seconds. Ah, why is this worth so much? It could absolutely lose value. Just give me something, man. Good God. I can't even do a pick swap with a buyer. <laughs> Why? Why are they listed as a conservative buyer? Why are the abs listed as a conservative buyer? What is happening with the values here? If this doesn't go through, this game is insane. This game is insane. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to fucking give it up for nothing. I just, I can't do anything with it. I'm, I'm just going to give it up for nothing. This is stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Have something that I can use. Fuck it, just give me two threes. I don't care. Please. Oh my god. This is such a horrible trade. <sighs> Just get it over and done with. Jesus Christ. Trade logic in this game is in absolutely insane. Alright. There's your top five. Top six, even. No, top five. Not insanely strong. Not... Yeah, it's pretty weak. Let's be honest. That's a pretty weak top five. All things considered... And we'll be taking a goalie with this 25th pick, I think. Because why the hell not? Again, we don't necessarily need him. But it's... Pff, it's the best best piece of value available. I'm just going to sim up. We'll look back at what the heck else went. And as I suspected, there is not a single overall jump. It's deep, but it's not... There's nothing great about it. The quality is not amazing. It's kind of deep in the first two rounds. But beyond that... It's not great. And yeah, I'm just going to go back and take Howden with this. Yeah, there's a gem defenseman, but meh. Let's just take this goaltender. Have an X-Factor. Increase that trade value for me, please. You better. That's insane that he doesn't have an X-Factor. I mean, he's 52. Fair, but that's pretty insane. This early goaltender doesn't have an X-Factor. All right. All right. Our next pick's at 38. Oh, there's your good overall guy. Pretty damn good for a DFD. Let's see what the heck else went after 25. Yeah. No medium elite steals in that first round. And we'll take our other pins in order, essentially. We'll get Tyrell and then Lutzer. Yep. Melvin Tyrell. NHL ready, technically. He'll be like 77. There we are. <laughs> Perfect. Right on the button. Oh, dude, he's not even poorly built. Yeah, he's pretty sick. No X factors. He has the best jersey number known to man as well. Speedy. Can actually shoot a bit. And can take face offs? Holy shit. Yeah. Pretty sick player right here, man. <laughs> That's a pretty sick player to get in round two. 
And our next pick is pick 50, where we'll get the other low elite, who is, again, kind of outside the range. But again, this seems like a deep first and second round, even though, even if the quality is not amazing. So let's get Lutzer here. Through your ETA two way with playmaking ability. 62 overall. Yeah. Decent, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what he turns. Let's see if we'll see if he develops. Or if we trade him. Yeah. Just try to capitalize on the value here. Our next pick will be the 80 something. Which is good enough to get the 90. This guy at 92, I believe. Yep. So we'll go up to that. See if anything special goes here. Not particularly. We're in the top, uh, low six and four range, as expected. There was a low six right next to our low elite, by the way. Yeah, we got the last of the bunch. Okay. Well, we got some more pins around here, and we're going to start grabbing them. Give me all the trade value in the world. Backstrom might be an elite, but I'm just going to take the sure things here. Which, first and foremost, is Halpern. I don't know if I have a pick for Bales. I think I picked up multiple threes, but we'll see. Halpern, 49, elite playmaker. When's my next pick? 89. Yep, I did. I will get both of them, I think. I, I, yeah, I had a feeling that guy was going to be an elite, but I took the sure thing. I spotted that guy. And we'll get another one. So, okay. Very deep. Top quality isn't good, but the mid quality is excellent. Because this is three medium elites in one round. He's not going to have the X factor, but we can dream. Jaden Bales. 48. Yep. But, uh, yeah, just picked up two medium elites in that third round, which is why I get those third and fourths uh, at the, in these years of a franchise mode, because this is where they this is where they can appear. All right, our next pick is the 97, which I could take a blind pick, because I believe I'll have a pick in range to get the next pin I have. Let's see. Nothing else. And this is the first pick of this round. Our next pin is at 148. I'm just going to make sure I'm pre it's 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 in range mathematically if we had our own pick, but do we have a Uh-oh. Wait a sec. 153. I think I have to move it if I want them. Yep. Which I think I do. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Judging by what's appearing, this is this is definitely the guy I want to grab. I'd even trade the two last picks I have to grab him. But let's take this pick first. We have a blind pick. This guy is probably going to be something at least decent, even though he's 20 when he has three-year ETA. This guy is four-year ETA at 20 with the top nine. So this leads me to believe this guy is going to be top six. Let's take a bit of a further look before we make a decision. I'm not seeing really anything point to uh, medium elites anymore. So I'm going to take the blind pick on this guy and and just guess he's going to be top six. He is not. He's actually going to be top nine. Probably one or two overall better than the next couple guys. Motherfucker. Wait, where's the guy? That's not him. Is this guy 20? There it is. Yeah, he's well, three overall better. Rip. Okay. Well, we want this. Uh, this next guy. What's the first pick of this round? 129, that's good enough. 153, 185. I can grab something else back. I'm trading two. We could still, like, have a seven. Let's see if I can grab two. Nope. But we can still have a seven. 
to just take a just hope for a low elite. So we're gonna do that. I don't think there's gonna be anything back there, but I still want a shot at it. And I'm not really seeing anything special here. Okay, let us snag McNeil with this pick. 52. 17, too, so his overall is actually not bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And the last pick, we will do a little bit of a look back. There's a low elite. Okay. 18. What? Oh, my God. That's four-year ETA at 18. He's likely turning 19, but that is a really tough pattern because you're going to look at this, 19, 59. But then there's this guy who's seven. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Very bizarre. Uh, they, those might have been the two to grab, and I'm not going to be able to get them. Obviously, since they've been drafted, I didn't, I wasn't seeing anything that was leading me to believe there was going to be anything great. What the f oh god, it's like a minefield though, because it's like, yeah, here's a 19 year old four year ETA who's a low elite, but there's a 19 year old four year ETA who's a low nine. That's interesting. That is very interesting. I gotta go as early as possible though, honestly, because that's where they were appearing. Unknown, unknown. That's tough. Leadership. Should we go with the 19-year-old and risk it or try for an 18-year-old? It's a really tough call. Hold on. Where was that OFD from? Sedin, no. I was hoping he might have been from the Russian League. Sometimes it's patterned like that. That's tough. On the other hand, Kalio is, uh, well, at least from a Nordic league. He's not from SHL. There's Fast, though, who is. I'm going to try for the league pattern along with the age and hopefully ETA. No. Missed. All right. Did I indeed? Okay, Kalio was not. They're grinders. He was a low bottom. Well, I didn't miss based on what actually got drafted. And we are done. So, uh, all in all, a good draft. Had some misses here with some blind picks. Missed out on a couple low elites, but hey, gotta let the AI win sometimes. <laughs> Okay, let's head into the offseason shenanigans. Think I'll keep the coaches for now. I did like how we have done. And yes, indeed, it was the goalie coach. Yeah, maybe I can get some better supplementary coaches, but honestly, they're not that awful. Like at all. Plus, you can fire him. There's, like, no penalty for, for ever firing someone. This guy might not sign. I'll try to get him, but he might just be like, oh, this is this is this role is below me, which would make sense. But I'll do my best. And which also means we can't do the uh, fun glitchy thing. So we may have to get these guys back. If they don't sign the first time, I'm not going to try to maneuver with it because... Yeah, it would be tough. Although, no, it could still work. Because I'll have the space. You know what? I, I will be able to uh, get these guys back. Because I'll have the space, actually. That's a lot of scouts. But we're at this point, we're keeping all of them. Not really even going to bother looking for others. Because when they when the A's stop appearing, it's very rare that they'll crop up again. At least in a few years. And by that time, it's like, you don't need to draft. I don't need to, I don't barely even need to draft now. <laughs> the Fed, yeah, we're going to start trading prospects or win now stuff. Maybe even guys who are on the NHL team but aren't, aren't you know, becoming what we need them to. Those guys are all going to become on the chopping block. But I'm waiting until I can actually use the trade finder. Or, uh, no, player search. Trade finder sucks. 
All right, resign phase. Gonna have some deals kicking in. Tucker, which is turning out to be a goddamn steal. Sherikov, which is turning out to be a goddamn steal. Did you gain X factors? Ugh. We know Misa did. He's looking beastly. Anyway, who's expiring? Tuomala. Dude, he's so sick. What the hell? Oh, eh. Huh. I'm gonna keep him. I think I... I'm trying to remember when the hell I got that guy. I think it was a free agency pickup. Torpchenko, we may have to let go of here. And I will initially. I'll have to at least let go of you guys. Skilly, come on, man. We still need you to make it. Zamula we may let go of. Actually, we should, because, yeah, we're not going to have the space. We got more entry levels coming in. And we know that's for sure. <sighs> we may have to cut ties with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Especially with Springus and Albaline coming in. Springus! Hmm. Sorry, buddy. The meme is over. The meme is done. Jarenko, Leanders. All right, it's Dostal and McGratton as the number one, number two. Here's the thing, a decision to make. No, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna be silly. I was like, what if we cut ties with Leanders now and just banked on Jarenko? I don't think so. I think that's a terrible idea. Uh, we're going to let Jarenko go now, which sucks. He was a great backup for us. But, uh, oh, I think he needs a change in scenery after what we did in the playoffs. <laughs> uh, and to be honest, he would, he would leave the team after a year like that. Oh, not even just that. All that, you know, playoff game aside. You just sat in the press box. Press box. We can let go of Jack Eye. And think about who all we want. So entry level. Let's let's get the entry levels out of the way so I can at least know my uh Okay, get got the NHL assistant back. I knew it. So he doesn't join. And the same thing for this guy. But here's how we can cheese it. I'll show you guys how we can cheese it after this all clears. You know, I'm not going to even look at the roster situation because I, uh, I want to cheese the coaching system because it's bad. I mean, it's not necessarily, but... Oh, it is bad because I can cheese it. <laughs> there. I, I'm still correct. I'm always correct. Never been wrong. It's the channel slogan. Um, I'll show you what we can do. So, hey, Holden, you actually want to be the HL head coach, you say? Sure. I'll make you the HL head coach. And then I'll use the head coach glitch to get the other guy to fill in in a different role. Oh, wait, it won't work because he wasn't in that role, will it? Fuck. Well, that just means the, co you know, coaching system is bad, so I'm still correct. Uh, <laughs> Tyrell. He plays for ZSC. I might, oh yeah, we got so many guys under contract, I might just want to leave them off just based on space. Oh, 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 O'Reilly oh, want. Unfortunately, Patterson doesn't seem to be panning out whatsoever. I don't think he's really grown a lick, so we can get rid of him. Uh, Kaskimeki. Yeah, he is the potential carry. For the A. Who? And why are you signing? Oh, you have the sniper, aren't you? Yeah. It is kind of Kaskimeki only. 
Kind of need to keep uh, Kaskimeki. Yeah. We do have exemptions as it shows. Are they going to be real exemptions though? We'll see. Is there anyone else we want to sign? No. <laughs> Not really. Mayor, we should trade this year. He should be thrown into a deal. McCann even. Like, these are all guys who are on the chopping block. Yeah, nothing. Besides Tyrell, but I'm just worried about space for him. I mean, he'll be at the top of the fucking list, let's be honest. Like, I'm not, it's not that he wouldn't be at the top of the list for the AHL. But yeah. We will have to make some adjustments. But we're not completely over. Like, 43 of 50 is honestly fine with some exemptions. But I want to look... Mm. No, I'm signing him. <laughs> I want to control. I, uh, I am worried, though. What's he listed as? He is listed as minor scorer, so... He honestly might be way too good for the Swiss League. Let's throw him up against AHL competition. Why am I exiting? What is this? This is an NHL 22. Whenever, when, when, was, when was it that you couldn't fucking skip a day in that screen for like the longest time? Maybe it was longer ago. But I think that's everything. Nothing. Nothing. We're all good. 44 guys under contracts, technically three exemptions. I'm trying to figure out who that all applies to. It won't apply to Tyrell. It will apply to Stajan, because he's still 19, so that's guaranteed one exemption. I have no idea who else it's talking about. Is it looking at out? Okay, Outlaw. No, because he's already there. It's looking at Valesi. He will be eligible. Stanton. Okay, that's what it is. These other two who are going to be AHL eligible. So, yeah, we will have essentially 43 guys under contract. Usable. Which technically gives us too much, but that's okay. Because free agency is not the biggest deal for us. We are looking at hockey trades. Oh, yeah. It's a coaching thing. Why, why isn't he saying anything? Did he sign? Fuck me. <laughs> no, he, he rejected. So, yeah. Yeah, so he even rejected. I couldn't even cheese it like that by trying to do the thing. So, we'll, we'll get them back or replace them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Free agency. Looks like some cool stuff available. We don't care. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. There's some pretty good players. Pretty good players. If you guys look at the goaltenders as well. Decent. All right. Um. Extensions. Before we look to wrap things up. Ransky. Uh, I might honestly. He's he's really he's really a good fit for this team for this coaching staff. We'll hold off on that, Varlamov. Good golly, Miss Molly. You gonna give me a steal of a deal too? He performed like like gangbusters. But maybe I go shorter term only to make his contract slightly more tradable. To be honest, it's always going to be tradable. Uh, because it's very low and he's very fucking good. He just had a 62-point season, for goodness sakes. 62-point rookie season. And the eight-year deal is tradable almost no matter what. The only risk is... Uh, 
But we can only get him two years at RFA. Here's the thing, if he has more good years on that second line, uh, yeah. He gets stack growth all, and all of a sudden his contract year, we're having to pay him a shit ton more. That's, that's what I kind of worry about in this scenario. And I mean, we're getting him for almost five flat. I'm not passing that up. Even if he's a 20 goal guy. <laughs> five mil flat at this stage is amazing for a 20 mil guy. That's essentially... Yeah, it's going to be like 5% of your cap. And less. Yeah, I'd take that for 20, 30 goals. Let's do it. Uh, Linstein, you on the other hand, may be a bargaining chip. I love it, your defensive steps. Don't get me wrong. But you don't have X factors. You're stagnating. I'd love to use you in the top six, but you're going to just be too much in between. Watch, watch what he wants. It, it can't work. Yes, we're safe. I can give him one more year, technically. I could try him in the top six, see if maybe we can get a better contract for him, but I just don't think that'll happen. But I think I can try him in the top six this year, try to decrease his value, but I might trade him. Oh, McCabe. Is he morale down or something? Not Obviously not extending you. Neighbors doesn't want to come back? Too bad? Or is it? Mr. Minus 17. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Uh, well, wait. You're, you're not inexpendable. Ott, on the other hand, did he lose a fucking X Factor? Pardon me? 46 points on the third line with point per game playoffs, and you're telling me he lost. An X Factor. I'm going to give it to him back because that is bullshit. I'm sorry. That is some bullshit. I'm extending him, at least short term, because I love what he did. Oh, what? He can't be RFA still? I, I'm going to extend to him at least short term. I'm going to extend him three years because that's a hell of a price. I'll I'll do that at least short term because I love what he did for me in the playoffs and that is absolutely ridiculous that he lost that X factor. Sorry, I think that's I think that's stupid. I mean, we had him net front on the fucking power play the whole year. Like he, he should get that crease crasher. Like he should it should ugh. whatever. So yeah, he's being extended, farmer. Yeah, I'm gonna, but I'm not gonna obviously give him long. Oh, boy. You ever gonna figure it out? That's the big question. I'm just going rough with him. Yeah, he and Ott were slight disappointments. <laughs> considering they are both drafted 10 and 11. And, uh... I mean, they had still obviously both have room to grow. Ott had a great performance. But to be honest, they weren't exactly... You know, what, how we, oh my god, Dostald. I mean, I know technically we can extend him no matter what. That kind of sucks, he doesn't want to come back. We're going to extend him no matter what, at least for two years. Oh, I'm not giving you that, buddy. I will give you two years. Because he will serve as the transition. Five, six, five. Uh, just a little over, so five, six, seven. Yep, I'm going to give that to him. Rather lock him in. McGratton, he may pass him sooner than this, obviously. But as long as we can afford to have two really good goaltenders, we might as well. <laughs> right? don't think there's a reason not to, honestly. Okay, so that's going to be what we... And I do think I should get Warensky back. But we can wait till we look to make some trades. We can, we can wait on that one till we look to make some trades. Obviously, we're waiting on Misa. So that's kind of the plan right here. Let me know what you think about that. Remember to hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.